should we fast forward to sort of close to where we are now? A few years ago, you're nominated to be a councillor in Thar Hamlets. Yeah, that 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 was a interesting journey as well. And mm, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, um, if you told me um, a year before I was selected, if I wanted to be councillor, I would be laughing at you. And Why is that? Because I wasn't interested in being a councillor. Mm. Um, I was interested in affecting change. Mm. And it was totally accidental. I, I still remember... Um, it was uh, me, again, me at the Shaman at Sana. We basically put our application in, like, literally five, ten minutes before the deadline, mm-hmm. midnight, because we weren't sure if we wanted to mm. be, apply to be councillors. Why weren't you sure? Um, we, we just never thought about it, and okay. we thought, let's put the application in. Okay. Um, and even then, I wasn't interested, because uh, at that time in Tower Hamlets, it was imposition. What's the imposition? So, imposition is basically... Um, a group of the party leaders make it make a list mm. of councillors and where you're going to stand mm-hmm. so the members don't have any so it's, who, it's who decided out. that in the past it was it was basically um officially it was the london regional party uh-huh. but it's basically whoever's in charge like right. the mps and the mayor or the leader of the council okay. basically made a list and basically chose who became and does that happen everywhere no no it, it was very rare and uh, tar hamlets was happened for about 20 years continuously wow um and we like i was asked if i wanted to be on the imposition list and yeah. I got, i'm not interested mm. in the sense that um i believe in democracy mm. and i want to be selected by the members mm. and I, w- I want to campaign mm. for that and we did campaign and it was it was it was an intro that it was that famous meeting mm. uh, in tower hamlets in the gc mm. Where me and uh, it was again Councillor Ethersham, we basically stood up um, and spoke against the mayor was on one side, mm. and me and Ethersham were on the other side, and we spoke up. Um, and I remember um, saying that democracy is such a valuable thing mm. that our ancestors gave blood, mm. tears, and treasures for it, mm. and we shouldn't we want it you Mm. know it's not something and we want democracy we want the members to select their Mm. councillors Mm. and we gave that speech um and the motion passed yeah and then lo and behold unexpectedly the decision came uh, a few i think a few weeks later that we're going to have member selections right and that's that and that's when i like um and what happened was because i campaigned for democracy, uh, uh, local members came up to me in my landlord. I wasn't even thinking about my landlord saying that we want you to mm. stand mm. because you campaigned for democracy. And uh, and I thought, yeah, okay, mm. I'll mm. do it. Mm-hmm. Amazing. So these impositions were removed and members selected for the first time their council yeah. candidates in yeah. Hamlet for a couple of decades. Yeah. Okay, that sounds like an incredible feat. So congratulations. After three years of struggle locally, Comrade Puru Mia remember, Tarek Khan remember, Uncle Helal Abbas remember, how much we fought to get members' right back. It used to be from last 20 years, they used to impose your councillor candidates on you. They used to trade in, trade out. They used to make unfair decisions. And we, as Labour Party member, did not have our right. And I still remember that GC meeting when actually it was said that actually some of you actually lobby me to actually have imposition, not members' right. And I remember and I said, I raised my hand and I said, can you please name those individuals who are not for democracy? My brothers.